Hello and welcome to Is It A Good Idea To Microwave This? I'm your host, Jory Karen, and I've been having a lot of trouble seeing inside of my microwave. So let's turn on the high beams with this headlight. Is it a good idea to microwave this? Let's find out. Here in the Jory Karen Laboratory, safety is our number one concern. That's why we hide behind this giant tinfoil shield. To protect our nuts, because nobody likes roasted nuts. We also have this face mask and these goggles. Protect eyes and lungs and all that stuff. And Your whole face it. area. Well, except, it's like a drop except strap. the actual face. Yeah, it's like a drop strap for your nose. Except it doesn't keep my nose from bouncing around. Shut your face. Okay. We also have this fan to circulate the air. And, as always, our GE turntable microwave. Lacy. Lacy. It just sounds so... Lacy. Lacy and... Lacy. Up your nose with the lacy. She could be the one. Okay. You said it like seven times now. Shut up. At least four. This is the car headlight. Incidentally, it's from John's uh, car. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and say... A minute and a half. Yeah, dude. That sounds great. Now, it's worth mentioning that this car headlight is oh, broken. Whoa. Oh. But then again, it has a second life inside of Lacey. That is bright. Wow. Dude, that's like the high And it's going shooting. Off. It's shooting like... Oh. Oh. And it just smashed. Oh. And it fell over and it's still on fire. And now it's just making a lot of noise. It's like sparking. That was cool. Go car headlight. Kind of like a light bulb, which we do every season on the... Is it a good idea my grave this? Yeah. But this is a bit of a twist. Because it's my old high beam light. Hey, I think it's just going to be on fire now. Seems like it's going to be a lot of fire. Shut it off, would you? Off. All right, my car headlight is still on fire. Jory, yeah. let's put it out. Brave man. Yeah, no, I try sometimes. How's your glove? It's good. Right, good go good. ahead and pull this out of there. Oh, there's part of it. I wonder where the rest of it is. Oh, I just found another part of it. Yeah, so it's basically just shattered into tiny little pieces of glass, but... Yeah. For a few seconds, that thing was as bright as the mercury light bulb, but it and went... and it was shooting out sparks from regions of metal here, and it caught fire. That was a pretty cool light show. It had like I, all three I parts. I think the mercury, the big mercury light bulb, was cooler, but this was pretty cool. But it's harder to find. You can't just go to your, you know, the workroom in the back of your house. Or you could just go to your parents' car and pull out the headlight. Woo! Don't. And that it. makes it easy. So, is it a good idea to microwave a headlight? In this case, this was a broken headlight in John's car. So I'd say yes, it is a good idea to microwave it as long as you're not doing it in your parents' microwave. Or your parents' car. Good idea. Good idea. That's it for Is It A Good Idea To Microwave This. I'm your host, Jory Karen. Have a good day. Or night. Incidentally, it's from John's uh, car. It's from my old car. Yeah. Well, actually, it's from my current car, but it's my old headlight. Yeah. Because obviously, I'm not driving around without a headlight. That would be a... What do they call that um, when you have one headlight? They call it a pompadiddle. Illegal, I think. A pompadiddle. Oh, is that when you punch the... The poop punch the roof? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, it's a, it's a pumpernickel or a pumpernickel or... Pumpernickel bread? Some stupid thing.